Hi everyone, this is Kathy Kinsler, Psychic Medium with PsychicKathy.com. I hope everyone's doing well today. Today I'm going to do the 2024 readings uh, for the year ahead for each of the astrological signs. So very exciting. Before I get into the readings, please do me a favor and only show love to everyone everywhere, especially in the comment section below. We only like love on this channel. I will be adding timestamps under the video so that under the video description so that you can automatically jump to whichever sign you're looking for hearing the readings on. But I want you to remember to listen to the top three, your top three. So you want to listen to your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign readings. So listen to all of those three because you could hear things that are applicable in any one of those three because those are the top three. Those are kind of the most important things that you should be hearing about. And any one of those could apply or all of them could apply. So just remember to, to check all three. And with that, here we go. Aries. Aries, 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 how are you? I'm an Aries, so I'm excited to do this reading. Uh, we are going to do the readings for you for the year of 2024. We're going to see what's ahead for you this year, what you can be expecting, what you got coming, what you should you focus on, all of those things for 2024. So we're going to start with Aries. And I just remember, you want to search your sun sign, your rising sign and your moon sign. You want to listen to all three. If you have Aries in any one of those, you want to look at, at any of those. So let's see what Aries have in store for 2024. Let's see. So what do we have here? Well, what I'm going to say is I do see interesting. So for some of you Aries, I do get that some of you will be either going back to school or starting school for the, you know, for the first time. And I'm seeing that it's actually a good thing for you to do. So if some of you are contemplating, uh, looking to go back to school or, just start school in general, I would say go for it because it does look really good. And this is a good year for you to do it. I'm seeing that it's a really good year for you to do it. Another thing is for a lot of you Aries out there, you have a fantastic job opportunity or career opportunity coming to you. So let's see, it feels like it's in about four weeks to four months from now. You have this really great job opportunity coming. Um, a lot of growth there, opportunity. You'll be learning new skills. There's going to be great people, good culture that resonates with you. So really good job opportunity. I'm also seeing that sometime during this year, a lot of you Aries out there will be moving. And it does look like this has been a tough decision for you to decide whether you should move or not. I'm actually getting that the move will ultimately be good. However, I'm seeing uh, some things come up during the move that's going to um, kind of be stressor points or little obstacles that you're going to have to get through in order to get the move, you know, to like uh, finished or however completed, however you want to say that. So you might want to do some clearing uh, on your old place, do clearing on your new place that you're moving to. And just so you can kind of get the energies good, do a clearing on yourself so that this will go smoother for you. I also have some legal documents coming up that I think some of you will be involved with. And just a little thing to make sure that you read through any legal papers that you're going to be dealing with, my Aries people out there. Make sure you, you read through any legal papers thoroughly uh, so that you're not caught with something in there that is going to catch you off guard and you're like, oh my gosh, now I'm stuck. Uh, what do I do? How do I get out of this? So before you sign any legal papers, check, check thoroughly. 
I also see that some of you are struggling a little financially. I see, I don't see you being, not being able to do what you need to do for your bills or whatever. I, you're going to have exactly what you need to cover everything. But I just see a little bit of feeling down because the money's not coming in like you like. But here's some good news. I do feel like a lot of you, Aries, are going to have uh, some kind of a review coming up. Um, maybe a bonus coming in and you don't know about it yet. So it might be a one-off bonus or a, a, an unexpected, um, maybe you're thinking you're going to get a, a raise of a certain amount and they end up giving you higher than that. It's going to be a, something a little unexpected. So that'll make you happy. So that's really good. So the overall, the year 2024 looks for you pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing some normal stuff, but you got a, a few things that are going to be, looks like it's going to be a busy year for you, Aries. So, um, you know, it, but it pr pretty typical. And I like the new job opportunity coming. I like the increase in money. I like going back to school. So all of that stuff looks good. Taurus, it's your turn. You're up. Taurus is my Taurus is out there. Remember to listen to your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign. So if any of those three are Taurus, then, or multiple ones are Taurus, then you want to listen to this reading. So let's see what's going to be happening for Tauruses for 2024. Well, I am seeing that some of you are feeling a little blocked and like you're stagnant, maybe might be a good word to use, like not moving forward. First thing, what am I going to say? What I always say is do some clearing, do some energy clearing, but I do feel that you kind of feel stuck right now and it's maybe not, um, not the best time right now for your job or career, you're a little disappointed in what's happening there. But I would say do some clearing. You do have some hidden surprises coming though. I definitely am seeing that. I'm seeing an increase in, in finances and I'm actually seeing you being very stable. I think sometimes a Taurus can worry about money, but you know, I'm seeing things being very stable. But a couple things, this is good. I am seeing a lot of you, many of you Tauruses losing weight this year, the weight that you're trying to lose you're going to be able to do it. So just ensure that you're doing it in a healthy way. That's, that would be the only thing I would say. Um, but I am seeing you guys losing weight. A lot of you losing weight. I'm also seeing some updates or improvements of to where you're living. It could be that, um, I don't know, maybe you're going to paint a room or if you're renting, maybe your landlord's coming in to paint or something like that. But I'm seeing some improvements. I'm also seeing an unexpected expense coming up with where you're living. So you just want to make sure that um, maybe you put a little extra aside, like a little nest egg aside, so that if something does come up, you're prepared. Um, other than that, though, I mean, I'm seeing an increase in, in your finances. I wouldn't say a drastic increase, but definitely an increase nonetheless. And I am seeing that you will, by the end of this year, you're going to have to make a tough decision about your job, your current job, whether you want to stay there or do you want to start looking somewhere else? Because I do see some of you, a lot of you feeling a little disillusioned with where your career is at the moment. However, I'm seeing a lot of really great people around you. So you certainly have a lot of support, which is really good. And I, I'm really happy to see the, the weight loss as well. Um, so just do some clearing that could help with, um, you know, the clearing anytime we're going through like uh, stressful stuff, it's always good to do clearing anyway, really anyone on the planet should be doing clearing. And I talk about this all the time in all of my videos. So I, I would say do some clearing for yourself and 
maybe clear your home, your space, but definitely yourself, clear yourself and put some protections on. That'll help to kind of clear some of that energy. And it'll help also help open up that stagnation that you might be feeling. So, um, but other than that, you know, I, I would say there's, there are some things you'll be trying to work through this year, but I like the weight loss. I know a lot of you are going to be happy about that. So, and I see an increase in money and stability and some nice changes coming for you this year. So it's not all going to be challenging. I do see some challenges this year, but I also see some good things too. So do some clearing to help uh, break apart that stagnation and, and whatnot. Gemini's, my Gemini's, you're up. It's your turn. We're going to do look at 2024 for Gemini's and see what's coming for you this year. Some things that are going to be happening. Uh, remember to, if you've got a Gemini sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign, you want to, any of those three, or even if a couple of those are those three, you want to take a look at this reading. So it could apply to any of those because those are the top three important spots. So let's see what's coming in 2024 for Gemini. Okay, well, this is interesting. I do have a new job. So I think many of you Geminis out there are looking for a new job. And one is coming, one is coming like you're right on top of it. So you're right on top of it. I, I think it could be really within the next couple weeks that you've got this new job coming. It looks, the job looks okay. I'm not going to say that it looks like it's going to be, oh my God, this is the job of my dreams. It's, it's not that. However, it, it's, a, it's not bad. It's, it's okay. I'll say it's just like, okay. Um, but you do have it. I do think you're going to take it. I do think it's a little bit more money, maybe not a lot, but a little bit. I also see many of you Geminis who may have been having difficulties in a romantic relationship. I see that being ironed out and getting back together. So, which is good. And, and I see it, it it's a good... Um, reconnection. So many of you have taken some time, maybe apart from someone that you've been involved with, or maybe you've been broken up for a while and you come back together and you talk about it and work things out. And it does look like it's going to be a good reconnection. I think you guys will be on a, on a better standing, more stability this time around, but it definitely feels like a previous relationship or if you're taking a break or maybe you were actually broken up, but it's, it's someone coming back and you're reconnecting with that person, but it looks good. I actually feel that the break was probably good, uh, for many of you Gemini's out there. It, it was probably good for you guys to take a break from each other. So because it allows you to appreciate what was there, the, the good points or the, the good things in, your relationship that maybe you, you do, you weren't looking at or you weren't considering because of maybe some of the other stressful things. So that looks really good. I do have a, many of you Gemini's moving. The move is going to be fantastic. You guys are going to love the new energy of where you move to really nice energy and, um, so happy. It's going to be almost like I'm hearing townhome and home, regular single family home. So many of you are, might I actually get a townhome. I'm also getting an image of the ocean. I think many of you are going to end up getting a place near the ocean or something. How wonderful. 
but I think you're gonna, it's gonna be like a, a place that you've always wanted to have. It's like this, this wonderful, um, you know, location and it's by the ocean, this beautiful view and all of that. So that's kind of what I'm getting an image of. So I think you're gonna be really happy with where this new place is that you're going. Um, for some of you, some of my Geminis out there, it does look like there may be some issues coming up with your mothers. I will say this though, even though there's some issues coming up with your mothers, some of your mothers, it's gonna be okay. So it's gonna initially seem like, um, I, I can feel some of you are really upset about some news that you hear about your mothers, but it's going to be okay. So I feel like for a good majority of those Geminis out there who are experiencing this, mom's gonna be okay. And I see everything really being fine. So, you know, is it a medical thing? Let me see. Might be a medical thing. A lot of you Geminis out there could be a medical scare, which turns out to be nothing, which is good. But some others I'm feeling something legal. There's something legal for some of you Gemini mothers that is going to be happening and it's going to turn out fine. Uh, it's initially going to be a worry for probably, you know, some of your moms and, um, and you, but it, it's going to be fine. I, I'm seeing things work out regardless if it's a, a health scare or some other legal thing. It's, it's going to be fine regardless of, of which one it is. Um, I know many of you um, Geminis have been feeling a little bit trapped. Is it on relationship? Let me focus on that for a second. Yeah, some of you it's relationships, some of you it is where you're living, and some of you it's for your from your job that you were at before you take this new job. So I'm getting a little bit of all of the above. So just know that you're heading on a little bit of a better trajectory. It doesn't mean that all of a sudden life is utopia. It just means that, you know, you're going to kind of get out of that stuck feeling and you'll be able to proceed forward and things are going to start getting a little bit better. Again, not utopia. There's no such thing as utopia, but you know, I, I see things definitely getting better. I'm telling you what though, you're going to love wherever this is that you move to. Oh my goodness. It seems like just a dream. I almost feel like it's a town home. I do feel some single homes, but then I'm also getting like high rise condos or something overlooking like ocean or so beautiful. I mean, I wish I was moving there. It looks really nice. So you do have a couple of nice things coming in for you this, this year, Gemini's. And I am going to I was going to check my temperature. All right. Cancer, Cancerians, my Cancerians out there. We are going to do 2024 overview for you. See what's coming for you in 2024. And just remember that if you have any of your top three in Cancer, sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign, then you want to listen to this reading um, because it could apply to any of those and cancer. So let's see what my Cancerians have coming up in 2024. Let's see. Well, I have a new job and a new opportunity coming for you, Cancers. Um, 
great opportunity. And I actually think it's a promotion within the company that you're in now for many of you cancers. Um, so it looks like you've been working really hard to get this promotion, um, working really hard and it's going to pay off. So that's what I'm hearing is promotion for many of my cancers out there. So I do think that your, the, the fruits of your labor, your efforts are going to be recognized and rewarded with a promotion. Um, whether it's actually a promotion or you just leave, there's some of you cancers out there who may just leave and go to a different job. I definitely see you making a shift with your career, but a lot of you, it's a promotion. I'm just hearing promotion really loud. So I feel like a lot of, a lot of you cancers out there are, are going to be, you, you've been really, really working hard. I can just feel the hard work that you've been putting in. And finally, it's going to pay off. I know some of you have been like, for the love of God, I'm doing all of this work. Why am I not getting recognized? You know, why are they not trying to promote me or giving me a raise or whatever? It's coming this year in 2024. So that's good. Um, I'm also seeing some, well, this is family. I'm hearing family. There may be some things that come up with family. I'm actually feeling that there is someone in a lot of cancer families that are, they may like, it's a, like it's a sister, a brother, parent, maybe that their own relationship may be ending and separating. They're separating, ending, divorcing, splitting up, whatever it is. Um, and so it'll make the rest of the family a bit sad. And that's understandable, especially when you know, we care about our family. So we don't want to see that. But I, I feel like um, it's probably for the best. I'm getting that once they split or go, you know, decide to divorce, go their separate ways, whatever, what have you, it's going to enable both of them to kind of grow. Um, I think that they've come to the end of what they were supposed to accomplish together in this life and it's time for them to grow. So it is, as much as it may be painful to hear or sad to hear that someone in your family is going through this, it, I think it really is in this case the best for many of you Cancerians. I'm also hear, hearing for many of you Cancerians I'm hearing uh, wedding proposal or marriage proposal, not wedding proposal, marriage proposals. So I do think there's a marriage proposal coming for many of you Cancerians. So that's exciting. A um, lot of your stress that you've been going through is going to start to recede and get a little more stable throughout this year. It's not going to be overnight, but I do feel... Um, that stress level kind of lightening up and you're just feeling a little bit better, more sure footed about how things are going for you this year. So some good things, the promotion, definitely a marriage proposal, very exciting, you know, a little, a couple little sad things, but you know, we can't, not everything is going to be utopia, right? So, um, you know, it, it, just know that if, if someone in your family does split or whatever, it, it's for the best, but both of them, it's for the best. So overall, I think that's going to be the biggest focus for you. Cancerians is the new job, the promotion and marriage proposal. Those are the two big things I'm seeing for you in 2024. All right, Leos, where are my Leos? 
This is going to be uh, an overview reading to look at what 2024 is going to be, how it's going to play out for, for you Leos. Just remember if you have your, uh, your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign in Leo, then you want to listen to this reading because any of those signs or multiple of them uh, could apply. So those are the, the top three that are the biggest ones. So let's see what's going to be coming in 2024 for Leos. Let's see. All right, well, some of you look like you're going to be unemployed pretty quickly if you're not already. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say. I think that some of you Leos out there, uh, many of you Leos out there, and remember it's sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign. It could apply to any of those. I think many of you Leos out there just lost a job. You may have been laid off, let go, furloughed. I'm not sure, you know, however you want to say that, whatever the case may be. Um, and so obviously that's putting some stress on you. That would stress anyone out, right? However, hang in there because I see a really nice job opportunity coming up I'm hearing about six weeks after you lose the current job that you have or did lose the current job that you had. So it's about six weeks after you lose the job is when I'm feeling this new opportunity will come, which is really not that long. So that's not really that long, but I do see you're going to be okay. You're going to end up on your feet um, and actually... I know it's cliche, but they say when one door closes, another one opens, or, you know, it was a blessing in disguise. That doesn't help when you're going through the situation, I know. But really, this new opportunity is much better than where you are or where you were. So um, it's going to be a really nice opportunity. Much better than where you were. I, I can feel a lot of Leos out there stressed about their position that either they still have or they just lost. So it, this new, this new opportunity is not like that at all. I know that some of you, a lot of you Leos out there are wanting to move. I don't think it's going to happen quite yet. There's a little bit of a delay and I think it's due to maybe the uncertainty with job and then you may have to, you know, get up a savings or something. I'm seeing a couple of things that are affecting when you can move. And so I don't think it's quite yet. I, I don't, I think many of you Leos were hoping to move during the year 2024. I, I don't know if it's going to happen this year. It may not be till the very end of this year or even into next year. I just think that's, you're not meant to move at this time right now. I do have some of you uh, taking some classes, going back to school. Um, sometimes I'll see this come up for even starting a yoga class or personal training or something like that. But, and it could be actual classes too, you know, like a college courses. But I'm seeing a lot of you Leos out there really um, learning and expanding your knowledge base in different areas. So I think that that's really good. Don't worry about what money you may have to spend on these courses or classes because with the new opportunity that's coming in, you're going to be able to get caught up pretty quick and you're not going to have to worry as much about finances as you were before. So you're going to be okay. I'm not seeing you struggling to have money for what you need. And actually, when you get this new opportunity, Leo's, it's going to be a significant um, increase from what you are or were making. So I see you being, by the end of this year, you're going to be doing really good financially. Just hang in there a little bit and you'll have more than enough money to cover these courses or classes that you're wanting to take. So don't worry about that. Also, 
if I'm, I'm going to say this, if any of you Leos out there are feeling, I, cause I feel some PTSD with some of you Leos with, and, and it's related to maybe the current job or the one you just lost, you know, whatever, if you're still there that you may lose, there's some PTSD I'm picking up from relating to job. I went through that myself, so I understand it's, it's not easy to, to get through. Here's what I'll say. Consider, and I think some of you Leos out there are a little leery of maybe taking something to help you get through that. I'm seeing that if you did, if you wanted to consider doing that, it would actually help. I'm not a doctor. I'm just letting you know what I'm seeing in the cards. So if you wanted, even if it's something natural, I'm seeing that if you take something that could actually really help you and I think get you through some of this little bit of a stressful period. So overall, you're going to be fine with your finances better than fine. A, a significant increase when you finally do um, find a new uh, opportunity that comes to you. And you're going to pull out of this, do some clearing. I mean, I say that all the time, do some clearing to try to help clear any potential negative or dark energy that might be affecting you and, you know, put some protections on yourself to help you kind of get through this time. But by the end of this year, you're going to be doing much better. So good luck for 2024, Leos. Virgos, this is going to be your 2024 reading, Virgos. This is for all my Virgos out there. And it would be Virgo sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign. So if you have Virgo in any of those three, you want to listen to this reading because it could apply to any of those placements. So those are our top three strongest um, placements or signs or however you want to say it is... Um, the, the sun sign, the moon sign, and the rising sign. Three very important, strong uh, placements. So let's see what's coming up in 2024 for my Virgos. Well... I am seeing some, many of you Virgos out there, you're going to be getting married. So um, that's exciting. That's exciting. So I do see weddings, marriages, you know, receptions, all of that for many of you Virgos out there. That's very fun. That's always an exciting time. Um, I'm also seeing... Okay, this is, this is interesting. So what I'm picking up for many of you Virgos out there, I'm picking up that there is, there could possibly be somebody that you work with, but it would be like a subordinate. So it's it, like if you're a, a manager or a supervisor, it would be like one of the people that reports to you um, is maybe doing something that they shouldn't be doing and you suspect it, but you're not exactly sure how to prove it or whatever, or, or find out for sure, you're going to find out. Hang in there for a little bit. I'm hearing about four weeks. That's not really that long. Roughly around four weeks for many of you Virgos out there, if you're having an issue, something you can't prove going on with one of your direct reports, you're going to be able to prove it. Something is going to come to light where you'll be able to get the proof or, or the ammunition or whatever you need to take action on what this direct report subordinate is doing. Uh, so hang in there with that because it's, it's coming. And it's not like you're going to have to do any significant digging. I think 
somehow you're going to find, it's going to come to you some way. Um, and I do see you taking action. And by the way, whatever action you end up taking, whether it's demoting or moving to a different team or terminating this, this direct report of yours, however, whatever way you decide to handle it is really the best. I'm seeing it actually being the best for you. So I know you're going to have some thoughts about, oh my gosh, I don't know which way to handle this. You know, will I look bad if I do this? Is this the right thing? Ultimately, you're going to make the right decision for the situation, even though you're nervous about making, you know, how you, how are you going to be perceived? You're going to look, you're going to be fine. You're going to look okay. Nobody's going to think that you did anything that you shouldn't have done. They're all going to feel like it was appropriate and that you needed to do that. So I'm also seeing an increase in money and finances for you, many of your Virgos out there. Uh, so that's good, but it looks like it's coming towards the end of the year. Actually, I'm feeling like it's an annual bonus for some of you. And it feels like it's around end of November or December. It's a pretty good bonus though. I mean, I feel like it's a pretty good bonus. So um, it feels really good to me. Some of you Virgos out there have a legal situation that you're trying to navigate through. And I'm going to say this. Initially, it's going to look like it's not going in your favor. Ultimately, though, I think you will be able to sort of get out of it not too badly scathed if that makes sense. It's, it's not going to be a slam dunk win for you, but it's going to be better than what you're thinking. So I just hang in there. What I would say is definitely do clearing on yourself, um, around the case, everything to make sure, you know, you're clearing and you're getting rid of negative energy and then put some protections on. You can also burn some orange tea like candles. <coughs> Excuse me. That helps with court cases. Um, that'll help make it a little bit better of an outcome. So it's not a slam dunk. I don't know that you're going to get everything that you're hoping to get, but it's going to be not as bad as it could be. I think you're going to, you're going to come out with, you know, on the winning ends into some degree. I feel like there's multi layers or multi layers to this, whatever this legal situation is. Um, I do see also some, uh, little bit of health issues with some of you, um, Virgos out there. Let me just focus on that for a second. Okay. This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that for, for some of you Virgos out there, you're, you're contemplating or thinking about, you've been told maybe you need to have some kind of a procedure or surgery or maybe you're considering having one for some reason or another on your own, I'm getting that it's going to be fine. So I can, I can sense and I can feel the anxiety about it. I mean, who wouldn't be a little nervous about a procedure or if you should do it, or is it, you know, how's it going to go? All of that. I'm getting that. I feel like it's going to be fine. I, I think it's going to be fine. So if it's something that you and your doctor feel that you need, I would say go for it because I, I feel like it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. That, that's what I'm hearing. So for those of you getting married this year, those Virgos getting married, congratulations. And that was Virgos 2024 year overview. Okay, my Libras, where are my Libras? 
This is going to be a 2024 overview for what's coming for you in the year 2024. So what's, what's going to be happening for you for, for this year. And remember that if you have either your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign in Libra, then you want to listen to this reading because it could apply to any of those. Those are our top three most important placements. So if you have Libra in any of those, you want to also listen to this reading. So let's see what's coming in 2024 for Libras. Well, okay, so I am getting some of you Libras out there have been going through, I would say, kind of a tough time. Um, I think it's been, there's a, there's a couple of different areas that I'm feeling. So here's what I'm getting. Really what I'm getting is this. I'm getting that things all around have been kind of tough for some of you Libras out there for a while. And I'm sorry that you've been going through that. But here's what I'll say. Some of it may be due to some negative or dark energy around you. So make sure that you're doing clearing on yourself and putting some protections on. You can also get some certain crystals to help brings like some, uh, some healing to you. Lepidolite is, is great. Not only is it a, a pretty stone, but it's, it's for healing to bring healing to you. Also amethyst. Amethyst is great for does, it does a lot of good things, but amethyst is also good for healing. So you might want to pick up a lepidolite and an amethyst and carry those with you for a couple months and definitely do some clearing. Cause I'm seeing that you've been really going through put through the ringer, um, for a bit. And it looks like it's finances, job issues with your, possibly your cars, um, your finances. It's, I'm seeing like you're getting hit kind of from different angles. So I'm sorry you're going through that, but, um, I do think that you can, let's try to switch some of this around. Let's try to really do some clearing. Let's do some, um, you know, get the lipidolite. You can even get, I got something stuck on my lip. Sorry. You can even get some light green tea light candles. Those are the little tiny ones. They're, they, they look like a little hockey puck. Um, get some light green tea light candles and that great light green helps to draw healing energy to us. So what you'd want to do is burn one every day. Uh, you know, ask God or your angels to help to bring some healing energy to you. And you want to ask it, ask for help in healing physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and karmically throw them all in there. And so, so you're covering all bases and do that for a couple months every day for a couple months and let the candle burn all the way out, get the lipidolite, get the amethyst. I can tell you that by the end of this year, you've got a couple things good coming in. I think it's going to be a little bit of a rough start uh, to the year. So by the end of this year, I see finances leveling out. I also, this is really good news. I also have a new love coming in for you. It's not going to be till the end of the year though, but this is a good one. So you know, for many of you Virgos out there, you've been struggling. Part of, part of what the stress is, is a relationship maybe that you don't have or that just didn't go right, or you just lost or just broke up or something. That's part of it. It's not everything, but you do have this new love coming in. This is a good one. It's like a soulmate, long-term, really happy, um, very serious. And both parties in, in the relationship feel just as strong about the other one. So it's a very nice, and, and I know some, a lot of you Virgos out there, I'm, I'm sorry, Libras have not had that in a while because I can feel that energy. You've got that coming. So just hang in there a little bit, really get going on your clearing. You can clear out you, your home, your car, 
if you work in a cubicle at work, do, do crystal grids, do anything and everything that you can to start trying to balance the energy and getting rid of any negative. Because I think that that's, I mean, I know that that's putting, I'm seeing it in the cards, that that's kind of what's happening with a lot of the stuff that's going on for you. So let's clear that, get that out of the way. And then now you can start focusing on healing and the new job and getting your finances in order and all of that stuff. So, but none of that is going to happen until we do some really heavy cleaning and protection. So let's do that. And then towards the end of the year, you've got this wonderful new love coming in and I can feel that it's just, it's a really nice relationship. And as you get through, as you start clearing the energy, <coughs> excuse me, I can feel the, the negative, you know, as it's starting to go away, you're yourself starting to feel a little bit better and a little bit better. So really do some clearing and that's your number one homework assignment. The, the more you do and the quicker you start doing it and the more you stick to it every day consistently, the quicker you're going to be able to kind of pull yourself out of this uh, negative and, and start being able to heal and moving on from some of the stuff that's been going on. So don't worry, you're not stuck in this forever. We can get out of it. We just need to do, we need to help it out a little bit and do some clearing. But I'm very excited about this new love coming in for you at the end of this year. Scorpio, where are my Scorpios? We are going to do a overview look of 2024 for you Scorpios out there and see what's coming up. Remember, if you have your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign in Scorpio, then you want to listen to this reading because it could apply to any of those placements. Those are our three top placements that we want to pay attention to. So if you have Scorpio in any of those placements, then listen to this reading. So let's see what's coming for Scorpios for 2024. New love coming in right away, right out the gate. Many of you Scorpios out there, you either just met someone who looks like they have a lot of promise or you're just right on top of about to meet a new love. And I actually think it could be through work um, or maybe a new job or something, but um, this new love is a good one. This is... Um, the soulmate, the, the long-term, the happy, you know, I'm not saying utopia, but long-term it's both parties feel just as strong about the other one. And it's committed. It's serious. It's, you have a lot of chemistry with each other. There's, you, you each have a lot of the same uh, likes and dislikes and morals and all of that stuff. So it's very compatible that way. It's a good one. And I'm telling you, you either just, you Scorpios out there, you either just met the person and you have a good feeling like you're thinking that this could be the one, they are. Or if you haven't quite met someone yet, you're right on top of that person coming in. They're coming in any time now. So I think 2024, part of what you'll be doing is developing this wonderful relationship. So um, it's a good one. I also see that when, for many of you Scorpios out there, with this new relationship, this new love relationship, comes a very big family. So this is going to be very serious. Now, I, I'm not saying that none of you will get married. There will be some of you that get married, but some of you will just decide to have children living together, you know, not necessarily getting married. And I think that's perfectly fine. I don't see what the point is of getting married. I mean, if you want to get married, get married. If you don't, you don't. 
but I think a lot of you may not, you may opt not to get married, but I see a lot of children coming for a lot of you Scorpios. So that's exciting. Gosh, some of you I'm hearing as many as five children. So God bless you. <laughs> I had two and that, that was good for me, but um, I'm seeing a lot of children coming for a lot of you Scorpios out there. So that's kind of fun. Do have a new job coming. I'm hearing around June or July. So, you know, it could be, is it within the same company? It could be within the same company. If it is within the same company, I don't know if I'd say it's necessarily a promotion. It could be moving to a different department or a different team. Or the, the higher ups decide to restructure your role and your job and give you a little bit different responsibilities at your current uh, role or, or in your current capacity. It's something like that. I, I don't know that it's, I'm feeling promotion mostly. I, I'm feeling more restructure or moving to a new team or something like that. But it's gonna end up being really good. I think you're gonna be really happy with it. Also, I do see that some of you look like you've been pretty stressed and I feel like it's with some family issues. Um, that's going to take a little bit to, to get through, but I'm feeling like by midsummer, you guys will be feeling much better. And it doesn't mean that between now and midsummer, you're not going to be feeling better. I I'm feeling incrementally better between now and then by midsummer, you're, feeling much better, more balanced. What I would say is do some energy clearing and protections to help balance that energy out a little bit quicker. You can also, you know, burn some light green tea light candles. That's to help draw um, like healing energy to you. And light blue would be for balancing, you know, calming energy. So that might be another good one. So do, do one of those every day for a few weeks and I think that'll help get you, you know, back on track sooner. I do see that some of you are bothered. You're having a hard time with a coworker. There's someone at your, your, and I do feel it's career and not personal life. So there's some of you that have a coworker that is really giving you some trouble. Um, that is going to even out as well. I think that eventually that person is going to be reprimanded by their boss or HR or somebody. Hang in there, do some clearing protections, light some healing candles and all of that to help you to kind of get through it until this happens. Because I feel like it's in the second part of the year. But this person, is, this is going to come back around on them. And they're going to be found out and they're, there's going to be action taken to reprimand them for this. So you will be vindicated. You will get some relief from it. It's just not quite yet. So in the meantime, do some stuff for yourself to help you get through it a little bit easier. But this new love, the new changes that are going to be happening with your job, I mean, fantastic, fantastic. So you Scorpios are going to have to message me and tell me all about this new wonderful relationship and new job. I'm excited for you. Sagittarius. Where's my Sagittarians? This is going to be a 2024 overview for uh, Sagittarius people. And remember, it's for either your, if your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign are Sagittarius, then you want to listen to this reading because those are the three strongest and most important um, placements for, for us as, as people. And 
any of those three placements this reading could, could apply to. So let's see what's coming in 2024 for our Sagittarians. All right, it does look like many of you Sagittarians have been feeling stuck. And I'm also seeing, oh boy, some of you have actually lost um, someone very important to you. And I'm sorry for your loss. Um, it's, it's so hard when we lose loved ones. And that's unfortunately the the crappy part of life right it's that we nobody lives forever so i'm sorry for your loss but what i see is i so i'm seeing the grieving going through that whole grieving um process of the loss and all of that however i'm seeing you coming out of that so so 2024 look for you to incrementally start to get better and better and better obviously it takes time i know that but I don't think it's going to take as much time as you're thinking. I'm actually feeling that really by April, you're not, I'm not saying you're totally over this loss that you've gone through, but you're in a much better place than you have been up until this point. And so that's not that far away. Um, so, but I do see, you know, incrementally better and better and better. And definitely by the end of this year, you're going to be feeling you, you're still going to be sad. You're still going to miss the person, obviously, but it's not as bad as you're able to get done what you need to. You're not almost debilitated by your grief, if that makes sense. You're able to start functioning and, and, you know, doing what you need to do. So that's good. Hang in there a little bit. Do some clearing and energy healing to help you get through this a little bit quicker. I'm also seeing that you want to move from where you're living. I think there's going to be a little bit of a hold or a pause on moving. Um, I think you're just not, it's not, here's what I'll say. I don't know if it's the right time for you to move based on trying to heal yourself from what you just went through. I would put that on pause right now and let, give yourself, don't add any more added stress on right now. Let yourself just kind of heal right? You can burn some light green candles to draw some healing energy to you. Um, do one every day for a few months and, and that'll help to draw some healing. But I, I'm, I'm seeing a pause on moving and I'm also hearing to say, instead of pushing the move through, hold off for right now. Don't, don't push it through. I know Sagittarians get, are driven and they're doers and they just, they're like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to do it. In this particular case, I would hold off and I would just not do it right now. I think in the long run, it's going to be better for you if you just wait and give yourself some time and space to just do your healing and get back on track again. So I would put the any moves on hold. I do see many of you Sagittarians losing weight. So yay. And if you, you know, let me know what your secret is, I would be very appreciative because <laughs> I'd like, I'd love to lose weight. Um, but I see many of you losing weight. And what I like to see is it's in a steady, healthy way. It's incremental, you know, steady. So it's not like a crash diet or something. Um, I see you losing very steady in a healthy way. And by the end of this year, I think you're going to be quite happy with the amount of weight that you've lost. I don't know that it's going to be all the weight that you want to lose, but it's going to be pretty darn close and it's going to be enough to really make you happy. So, um, so good for you. Also, if you feel I'm not a doctor, I'm just letting you know what, because certainly consult with your doctor, but I'm just letting you know what I'm picking up. If you, some of you Sagittarians feel that you need to take something to help you along to, to get, pull yourself out of this, you know, this grieving and whatever a little bit quicker. I'm seeing that it would be helpful for you. Of course, check with your doctor. I'm not a doctor, but 
I think it would, even if it's something natural, I think it could definitely help you. So that's what I, the big thing that I see for you Sagittarians is kind of healing throughout the year, um, losing weight, which is fantastic. And just maybe put a hold or a pause on moving at this time. Uh, some of you are going to be taking some classes too, but you really have some nice things coming for you this year too. This year is going to end up being a little bit better than you were thinking it was going to be. So that was for Sagittarius. Capricorns. Where are my Capricorns? This is for you. You're up. This is your turn. We are going to do an overview of 2024 and we're going to just see what we see, what's coming for you for 2024 for all you Capricorns. And remember that if you have Capricorn in your sun, your moon, or your rising sign, then this reading can apply to you because of any of those placements. So um, it doesn't have to just be your sun sign. It can be sun, moon, rising sign. Those are all very strong and important placements. So if you have Capricorn in any of those, you want to listen to this reading. So let's see what's coming up for Capricorns in 2024. Well, this is good. It looks like many of you Capricorns have been going through a little bit of um, some illness. And I'm seeing the illness, you, I'm seeing you um, starting to come out of that. I think it's been a more of a, how do I want to say it? The, the symptoms have been hanging on longer than maybe you feel that they should have. I'm seeing you actually starting to, the symptoms are going to start to wane. They're going to go away. You're going to start feeling more yourself and stronger. And um, you're going to start being yourself again. So Capricorns, I know you're very strong people anyway, but, you know, illness can make everybody kind of feel, you know, not quite themselves and weaker and whatever. You're going to be right back, right back to where you should be in no time. So just hang in there a little bit. Um, you may want to burn some light green tea light candles just to help draw some healing energy in a little bit quicker. I do see that I think you're going to be, uh, as many of you um, Capricorns, I think, are who are teachers, I see you expanding your student base, if I might say it like that. So... Maybe it's that you are a speaker and you go on the circuit or you give speeches or maybe you're asked to give a speech in front of a certain group or something like that. But I see you expanding your, your, your student base and imparting your knowledge to a wider range of people. And you know what? I, your knowledge is really impressive. I, I can feel the energy and I can feel that the knowledge is that you're going to be imparting to others is very useful. It's going to help a lot of people. So I would say, you know, try to go ahead and start setting that up now because I feel like it's going to be really good. Also for many of you Virgos out there, if you have a legal situation going on, here's what I would say. If you're feeling like you don't need to consult with legal counsel or an attorney, I would say you might want to consider checking, you know, consulting with an attorney. I'm feeling like if you don't reach out to some kind of legal counsel, get a consultation, something, I feel that you, it may come back to bite you. So my, what I'm seeing and what I'm picking up is it's probably in your best interest to have the best chance at this legal issue to, to consult with an attorney. Um, we all know Cap Capricorns are capable of quite a lot, but in this case, 
I feel like it's better if you consult with with legal counsel in, in that. I'm also seeing there's there's many of you Virgos, uh, I'm sorry, Capricorns, I keep getting saying the wrong sign. Capricorns that are worried about finances. I think Capricorns are always worried about finances, but really any of the earth signs. I, your finances are solid. I'm seeing them rock solid this year. No issues whatsoever financially. I'm not going to, I'm not saying that there may not be an unexpected expense that might come up or, you know, that, that you have to spend a little bit more money than you were anticipating. Of course that can happen, but I am seeing all my Capricorns rock solid with finances this year. I'm not worried about finances at all. Your health is going to get stronger. You're going to get stronger. Your finances are rock solid. The only thing I would say is just, um, you know, consult with an attorney if you've got some legal things going on, because I think you'll have better, a better outcome if you consult with an attorney. Aquarius, where are my Aquarians? This is going to be an overview of 2024 for all you Aquarians out there. And don't forget, if you are an Aquarius that keeps doing that when I put my thumb up. So yes, please like the video. <laughs> if you're in a, have an Aquarius sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign, then you'd want to listen to this reading because it could you know, apply to you for any of those placements. Those placements are all like our top three important placements. So if you have Aquarius in any of those, you want to listen to this reading. So let's see what's coming up for Aquarians over 2024. Looks like some of you Aquarians are having kind of a tough time finding a new job. I see a, some of a lot of you Aquarians are trying to find new, new, a new job, new work, new career, and it's been kind of a struggle. You're not, you're not finding that that right um, opportunity. It, it it doesn't seem to be there. Stay with it or maybe take a pause and pick it up again at some point because you are going to find a good opportunity. I'm hearing around April or May. So you may want to just take a pause right now so you're not stressing yourself out and then pick it up again and start your search again around April or May. <clears throat> I also have a new love coming in for many of you Aquarians. This is the one. This is your person. This is a good relationship. So, and that I feel around June for many of you. It's going to be around June. Um, this, this is a good relationship though. I also am getting a lot of travel for a lot of you Aquarians. Travel, travel, travel. Like you're going to be a bunch of travel bugs going here, going there. Lots of travel and good for you. I have to live vicariously through you because I don't travel that much. But lots of travel for you guys, and you're going to be having a good time. I'm also seeing a lot of real estate transactions. So many of you Aquarians are going to be purchasing maybe your first time home, a new home. But I'm also getting um, in, as investment, real estate as investment. So um, you got a lot of good stuff happening for you this year. Hang on, just hold on for a little bit with, take a pause on the job search for right now. I feel like it's just not the right time. Let yourself go to about maybe April or May, pick it up again, and then I think you'll have more success finding that job. And focus on your travel, focus on, you know, maybe you, this real estate, new real estate acquisition that you want to, you know, purchase or get up and running or whatever and focus on the new love and your travel and because you've got some other really good things. So just hold off 
just right now um, for the travel, because I or not the travel for the new job. I just think you're not meant to find that new job quite yet. Pisces, this is for my Pisces out there. Where's my Pisceans? Pisceans, I don't know if even that that's a word. <laughs> Where's all my Pisces people? This is gonna be a 2024 overview for Pisces. And remember that if you have your, your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign, any of those three in Pisces, then this reading could apply to you. Uh, so make sure you're you're looking at all three of those placements because those are our strongest placements. So let's see what 2024 is going to bring for Pisces. Well, I see a lot of you Pisces. This is good, especially considering Pisces. Pisces sometimes can feel, um, have low self-esteem. I might say it like that. I'm sure there's other signs that can have that too, but sometimes Pisces, that's sometimes part of their makeup. I'm seeing 2024 being fantastic for many of you Pisces out there to grow, do soul searching, learning about yourself and your blossoming. So 2024 is going to be a pivotal year for many of you Pisces where you're, you're blossoming and you're coming into your own, you're learning about yourself, you're doing more things for yourself, you're, you're just, you're kind of get feeling more balanced and coming into your own. It might be the best way to say it. So, which is really good. I'm happy to see that, um, especially for my Pisces, because I know sometimes they get inside their head. Uh, no offense, Pisces, but I know sometimes Pisces can get inside their head. And I see you really getting stronger and growing and blossoming this year. I also see a big decision you're, a lot of you Pisces are gonna have to make with regard to career. And when I say a big decision about career, I mean not just switching jobs, but literal directions of your career, like, like contemplating a totally new career type or field or however you want to say that. So good for you. I actually think it's going to be phenomenal for you to do it. Now is the time. Go ahead and do it. It can be a little scary, but Pisces are dreamers. So, so it, it, it's not always as scary to make such a drastic change as like a complete career shift to, as it is, you know, for some of the signs, but Pisces do better with that because they are dreamers and they, they kind of like to see what, what could be. And if I tried this, what could be down the road? So they feel a little bit more comfortable with it, but I am seeing a huge, for many of you, Pisces, a huge shift totally different direction with your career, but really, really good. I will say this too. In the beginning, when you make this, this shift, it just remember, it's going to take a little bit to, to kind of get your footing in this new area. Allow it the space to, to grow, allow a little bit of time for it to grow and take off. And so, so what I'll say is this, in other words, don't switch careers. And then within three weeks say, Oh my God, this is not what I thought. You have to let it marinate a little bit longer than just three weeks. Um, give it a little bit more time. I I'm hearing, give it at least six months before you make any decisions. But I'm, I'm telling you, I think you're going to be really happy with what comes up, what you end up switching to and it's going to be really good. I also feel some of you Pisces are getting that our teachers are getting out of teaching and doing something completely different. So, um, specifically for teachers. So I also feel some of you Pisces that are lawyers or attorneys, 
I'm, I'm feeling like some of you feel like, oh my God, this, this whole being a lawyer, the legal career, all of that is not what I thought it was going to be. I don't, I'm not enjoying it like I thought I was going to enjoy it. So a lot of you Pisces lawyers, I think will be trying to look for a different avenue for career too, but it's all good stuff. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be utopia, but I'm saying it's, I see the shifts with changing the career really, really good. Um, I will say a little caution about one area here. If some of you Pisces out there are into, let's say, how would I phrase this? Um, partaking in substances, I might say that. I hope you know what I mean by that. For those of you Pisces who are kind of in the habit of doing that, what I'm seeing is if you continue to do that, you're, you're stifling yourself and you're blocking yourself from being able to move on and, and not move on, but move in this new direction. So what I would say to you Pisceans out there who are partaking, I would take a pause and I would maybe try to stop for a while because I feel it's going to stifle you and kind of block you from moving to that next great level. And listen, you're meant to have these, these great shifts coming in, but let's not let something like that stop it. Um, because then you're going to still feel like you're blocked, you're trapped, you're, you're not getting where you want to go. Let's try to just take a pause, take a break from the partaking for, for a bit and let yourself just do some energy clearing, do some protections and let yourself get, get nice and balanced again, get the stuff going that you're supposed to have going in your life. And then, then down the road, if you want to partake, <laughs> I don't partake, but you know, if you want to partake, then that's, then that's fine. But you really do have some nice things coming up for you and, um, just maybe back off a little bit on the partaking. <laughs> So that was my 2024 overview for all of the 12 astrological signs. Again, a reminder, you want to look up the readings on your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign. Those are the three important uh, placements that make us who we are. And so you want to look at all three of those areas look at the readings for all three of those, what you have in those placements. Um, cause that all three of them can apply to you. So thank you so much for watching the video and please do me a favor. If you enjoy the videos that I do, please give me a thumbs up. Um, you know, show me that you like this kind of content and so I can keep making it and, um, subscribe. So you always, you're always notified, click the little bell icon, so you're notified when I post new videos and um, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and your week and love to all of you and I will see you soon on the next video. Bye.